everybody this is the new 2018 Genesis G80 Sport and this has the 3.3 liter twin turbo V6 so it makes about 365 brake horsepower it's a nice nice red in here with the pinstripe all the way down the car HID headlights and daytime running lights all LEDs up front with um, dynamic bending lights up front. Uh, this is the grill here. So you, these, this comes with 19 inch sport wheels. They're like covered in gunmetal gray with the Genesis Center Cap logo right here. It's pretty nice. Like the contrast with the gray and the red, it works really great with this car. And also, uh, this is kind of like the Tucson Night thing going on. You have the blacked out mirrors, all panoramic, panoramic sunroof with the XM satellite right there. Um, I like the door handles. They're all red to match the stitching. This is, this is the same as the G80, but this is more, um, this is the motor, this is a 3.3 motor rather than the 3.8 from the previous Genesis models. So it's all the same in this car, but instead of wood trim, you get real carbon fiber all around the car so from the driver's side to the passenger side in the back all the way across the dash for the 2018 the steering wheel is different for the g80 you do have more aggressive side bolsterings which is perforated leather and you, you do have the contrast stitching right here it's orange which matches the orange in the seats so you have your satellite navigation xm radios all that good stuff it's just fully loaded out with technology dual climate control zones this is an eight speed automatic transmission but for the 2018 g80 sport this is shift by wire so this deck in a regular automatic transmission breathe from the brake and you just hold down the lever right here and you shift shift to park or drive this comes with the 360 degree view of the cab of the car when you put it in drive so you have a front facing camera right here pop that in reverse and you can change whichever view you want to view first so on the right screen you have you see all around you all around the car you can see you're more aware of your surroundings so if you want to pick one of the views it goes through a full screen of what you want to view so this is the back it tells you right there on the right screen so you plan to drive you can see all in front of you. And I'd like to thank you, Eckhart Hyundai, for letting me review this car for you guys. Um, they're really awesome people over here. If you wanna get this car, just follow the link down in my description and they can hook you right up. All right, I'm gonna hop in the back seat and show you uh, how much space there is. And since I'm 6'2", I'm gonna adjust my comfortable driving position right here. All right, let's see what the back space is like. This is me sitting behind myself if I was to drive the car and review at the same time. Anyways, so there's plenty of back seat right here and let's pull this armrest down. Look at this, cup holders in the back, heated seats in the back for the passenger as well. Two passengers heated seats. That's pretty cool. And if you're done with that, you just fold this back up. Like it was never there. Air vents for the passengers in the back as well, so they don't suffocate. I'm pretty comfortable. And you have your reading light right here. It's It feels more luxurious than you would expect because this is, again, this is the top of the line Genesis. And I know they have the five liter V8, but this this is like, you know, in between, like this, is, this balances out for you. This car drives the part and for the comfort ride, it's pretty smooth. And the interior, like I'm about to fall asleep right now. That's how comfortable it is right here. It's a 95 degrees outside, and I'm perfectly cool in here. Like I would think that this car would get hot on a hot day, but with the suede and whatnot, this you know insulates you, keeps the car cool on hot summer days, and it's very very quiet in here. So that noise is from the air vents from the front seats, the ventilated seats they had on earlier. So this comes with. I need to show you real quick. This place, it's automatic lift gate so so what do you get the trunk cargo tray 
uh, wheel locks. Oh, and your battery's in the trunk, in case you have to use battery sometime. It's in the trunk. And you get a spare tire, which is really nice. And a G80. Um, this is a G80. This is a neat thing Genesis is doing with the valet and whatnot. So, in case you want to sign up for that, you just add that to you. Price of the vehicle and just set you right up. And to close the trunk, you just push this button right here. Very nice. All right, now we're gonna go for a test drive and see how this car drives. I'm pretty excited about this because I've driven a lot of G80s with 3.8s, and I'm gonna compare from comfort. The suspension, brakes, and power. So those four things, and I'll see you guys there. If you watch my other video, you can see the G80 Sport and the G80, they're not that much of a difference on the outside, <laughs> but underneath the end, underneath the skin, everything is so different from the other car. Like it's a like it's like a whole new car in the same skin. It's weird. Let me start with the regular base G80. The base G80 is around like 50 grand, loaded up with the heads up display, navigation, everything, you know. But with the Sport, you get a lot more. So it's slightly above, like 10 grand above the regular G80. So yeah, it's pricey, but if you compare it to the BMW and whatnot, this has more, this has better warranty. This has Hyundai's warranty. You can't beat Hyundai's warranty. You can't compare Hyundai's warranty to the uh, BMW or Mercedes, you know, of the car in this category. So. You have a lot of compromising to do and you have a lot of options, but I'm here to make this option easy for you. You get a lot more for what you pay for. You have your valet for Honda, you can sign up for that. So pretty much what that is in a nutshell is if you want your car serviced, like for an oil change or whatnot, somebody will come to your house, pick up your car, like I'm doing, or I'm driving, then they'll give you a loaner car so you're not stuck, you know, in your house. But they pretty much pick up a car, take the car to service, have a car worked on for you, then bring your car back to your office, home, whatever you at, wherever you live at, an RV, like it doesn't matter. It seems it seems underpowered, my people. When you drive it and you realize you don't need to have that much power the whole time driving this car. <laughs> oh, this car surprises me though. That's the thing in the car. So the surprise factor. This has a um, eight-speed automatic transmission. It's a seamless in sport mode. So talking about sport mode, there's three different drive modes in this car. So normal, eco, and sport. As it goes into sport, the shifts are more aggressive, but it's not jerky like some auto cars. Like it's not too like clunky and aggressive. Like you feel the like it, it rolls the rev a lot longer than it would. So let's say usually you're driving in it's a normal mode and it's shifted around like 2,000 RPMs. You put it in sport mode, it's shifted around like 3,500 RPMs. So it builds the boost up. And honestly, from my experience, there's a little bit of turbo lag, but it's numb. You don't notice it because you have two, two, two twin scroll turbos, you know, just sitting there. And I have all this power, you know, at my disposal, my right foot, you know. And also, this has the aluminum sport pedals for, so for your accelerator, brake, and your dead pedal. So all that is just there for you. Like there's nothing more to, to could add to this car than lasers or something shooting out of the car. So right now we're just trying to beat this traffic. Uh, we're gonna go around the cor some corners and see how this car handles as well as as, as well as braking. I'm surprised Hyundai didn't put um, Brembo brakes on this because they have the Brembo brakes on the Genesis Coupe. I guess that's a more sportier car, but it would be nice to have Brembo brakes for this car. I mean, it looks sick behind the red and red and the gunmetal. You know, that's a cool color combination there, Hyundai. All right. So why the stop sign here? Let's see how the power is again. <laughs> this is, sounds so good. Just know where, the, where you're heading before you go fast in this car, because it, it happens pretty quick. This thing pulls. It's crazy. I say that a lot. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, I'm actually sweating. That that's how much fun I'm having driving this car. Ugh. That was a big bump there, but not bad. Like it doesn't upset the car. 
it doesn't upset the car at all. Like it's a, the suspension is tighter than a regular G80, but it doesn't like upset the driver and beat you up like the coupe does. I'm gonna park this car. It has parking sensors all around. Did I mention that? It has front parking sensor and rear parking sensor. So if you try to park this car and you hit something, then that's your fault. <laughs> that's your fault. Because not only do you get the front and rear parking sensors, you get your 360 degree camera view. 360 degree view from the camera. There's nothing more you could ask for in a car like this. I mean, I wanna say it doesn't need it, but I'm glad Hyundai puts that there because the visibility is great in this car. Like you can set whichever mode you want. Like, so just around the parking lot, it's hard for you to hit something. I'm not kidding. Like it lets you know when you get close to a curb so you don't mess, mess up that nice, you know, front spoiler, uh, front bumper. And this car is just screams like, look at me. Like, it's just a nice red though. I'm sure it's like called like some long red, whatever, but it's red nonetheless and it is nice for the tech package you also get your daytime running lights with leds the leds are really bright the all leds are around from the tail lights to the license plate lights to the hid headlights with high beam assist and dynamic bending light <laughs> that's a lot <laughs> you see that the tail spun out a little bit this car likes to be tail happy like god that's what a stability control on i'm telling you if you want to track this car, I think it's, you can track this car if you want to, but as a daily driver, this is this is more than enough fun. I can't stop smiling since I step behind the wheel of this car. I really can't. It has the right balance. It gives you that confidence you're looking for in a car this big because I've been driving this car for last, you know, for a while now, and it feels like I'm driving a like a small sedan, but that's how light it feels like. Visibility is great, and yet I can have fun doing all that and it's how it makes you feel, you know? So right off the bat, this is good. Like, you know, you get a good feeling just looking at the car. Like, I can already see, I can already experience what this car's gonna drive before I even get started to drive this car. And now I've driven this car, it makes it meets that expectation. So, we're gonna join this road here and test the power one more time. Oh, Jesus. That wasn't even up to like 5,000 RPMs and i'm going really fast <laughs> so let's see my average miles per gallon since i've been driving in sport mode <laughs> okay we don't talk about that it says 15. so if you drive normally and sensibly and you know respectively you get about like 20 miles per gallon average in this car so hey, it's a twin turbo what did you expect so i would say get this car over the v8 if you have the money and you have that you have you have a good budget of like sixty thousand dollars like we're lying around to your house or in your wife's house or whatever it is and you want to get a car like this i was like get the trim i mean you can get the v8 if you want to or the previous models but if you're looking for a comfort sportiness and looks this car is perfect all right guys that was it on this quick review on the 2018 genesis g80 sport i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did as you can see i can't stop smiling so if you like this video smash that like button subscribe and leave a comment let me know what kind of videos you want to see later in the, on in the future what kind of cars you want to review and there's more of this where that came from and i'll see you guys later peace now break it down give me give me uh, give me give me say what give me give me give me give me give me say what give me give me give me give me give me say what give me 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 that all of that break it down girl shake it up